Hi folks, Chris Rich here. Hey, we're out on a new adventure. Right out in front of us, the Vermilion Cliffs. We're on our way up to Lee's Ferry for a little fishing trip. And those in front of you is the Vermilion Cliffs. Our adventure today is we're gonna drive up to the top of those Vermilion Cliffs. Those are about 15 miles away from where we're at. Massive cliffs, they don't look that big from here, but when we get up close, those are massive. Anyhow, there's a road that goes around the backside, comes back up, we're gonna take you with us, see what kind of an adventure we get on. In the next few days, we'll be fishing down at Lee's Ferry. We'll get some really good footage. Different country, different scenery than we've been in the past few months. Stay hooked, it's gonna be a great adventure. Yeah, we're coming over the bridge right here. And uh, I don't know if you can see the Colorado down there, probably about 1200 feet down long ways down we're getting a little closer to the vermilion cliffs you can see a little bit more about how big they are we'll be driving right along these cliffs dropping off our bags at cliff dwellers lodge and then grabbing a little lunch heading out on the adventure going to drive up to the top of those cliffs what do you figure those are a thousand feet high dad uh, at least that at least a thousand feet high yeah beautiful country up here uh, no place else on earth just like this place. No place on earth. Fantastic. Now we're coming up to our right hand turn. BLM Road 1065, they say. Apparently, this at one time was an old stagecoach stop back in the olden days. Not much has happened since then, folks. If you continue on this road, you're going to head up to uh, the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Been up there many times. We're not going there today. We're, we're turning off right here. BLM Road 1065. Here we go. There you go, Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Bureau of Land Management, BLM. Some people think it's Black Lives Matter. We think it's Bureau of Land Management, BLM. They were here before B uh, Black Lives Matter. Beautiful country. Ever been up here? It's a new adventure. And it's a new adventure for you as well, so stay hooked. We took a little stop right here, Condor, California Condor viewing area. You can't see it on the video here, but we got the binoculars right up above that cliff. You can see those California condors flying around up there. Pretty cool. Prehistoric birds. Prehistoric birds. Yeah, that's about what it is. Look at this, folks. We're getting the United States Census Bureau in the middle of nowhere, huh? They're doing their job. Really? Yeah, look at this. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Asked us if we live in the cabin up around the corner. No, no, that's not us. So this will be on Facebook tonight, right? It'll be on YouTube. Yeah, you bet. You're doing your job. Okay. You your boss is going to know it. Couple? Still traveling on, on the BLM Road 1065. It's at about 16 miles from that turnoff. We just got out and aired down the tires, dropped about 10 pounds out. It's supposed to smooth out the ride. And we're, we're headed up to what they call the world's largest sandbox. So more than likely, we're going to have to air down a little more to uh, get traction, make it through all that sand we're going into. Pretty common off-road technique. We'll see how it works. First time I've ever done it. Got a little bit of a terrain change out here. Just come over a little rise and it looks a little different. I think we're going to run into quite a bit of that out here. Here's the turnoff road. Got a sign here, Lone Tree Parking Area, Coyote Butte South. We're gonna drive up in there, see what we're dealing with. Never been here, it's a new adventure for us, new adventure for you. Didn't take us long for getting a soft sandy road here. Feels like it's got a pretty good bottom on it at this point. Uh, we did air down about 10 pounds out of the tires. Should give us a little better traction. But this is what we're driving through. They call this pothole area, sandstone formation. Pretty interesting out here in the middle of nowhere. Some of that interesting sandstone formation we were talking about earlier. Pretty desolate out here, not a lot of life, but some neat sandstone formations. Big Poppy, 84 years old tomorrow. He's the gate man today, folks. First gate we've had to come through. There's somebody left their vehicle here. Old van, old, old maybe a horse-drawn wagon, old truck over there. There's an old water pump, drawing up water for the cattle. 
right out here in the middle of nowhere. That's what we think we're looking for, folks. White pocket right off there in the distance. Doesn't look like it's too far. Yeah. Saw it just a few minutes ago. Kind of majestic out here in the middle of nowhere. Little old wooden shipping pen. Broken down a little bit, but somehow they get rigs out here and ship cattle out of here. That's probably where they're using that water to water these cattle. That's old school there, folks, old school. Just bringing you on this trip with us. Looking off to the north here, you can see some sandstone formations out there in the distance. Pretty vista we've got right here. Looks like a little fire over there. Little formation we came on, you see the hole right there, formed right through that. Yeah, we're coming into some pretty stuff. Soft, sandy road. Definitely need to have a nice four by four. Air down your tires, keep the momentum going. Don't want to get stuck out here in the middle of nowhere, no man's land. Right off there in the distance, some neat white sandstone formations. See it on the video. Anyhow, I'm not sure if we're making it back to White Pocket. These roads kind of twist and turn through here. Doing the best we can. We're on a road. Traveling along. We got you right along with us. There's that dome we were looking at off in the distance. We're now we're on the other side of it. So we're just traveling along. We got some neat sandstone formations. I think we're starting to get warmer. I think we're getting closer to this White Pocket. We're not sure where we're at or where we're going. Well, we know we're going to White Pocket, but we don't know how to get there. It's official, we made it to White Pocket. We weren't sure where we were going, but we made it here. Bureau of Land Management. There's that BLM once again, they're everywhere. Somehow the world's made them famous. They're marching the streets for the Bureau of Land Management these days. Vermilion Cliffs National Monument. Here we are, folks. We made it for the first time. We brought you right with us. Quite a formation. Out here, we're gonna drive in, see what we see what we come up to. Forerunner, TRD Pro did us good. Picked that up earlier this year at Avondale Toyota. John Rondo, general manager, took real good care of me. If you have an interest in looking, make sure you look at Avondale Toyota. They treat you right, no haggle pricing, best prices in town, amazing people to work with, and they make an amazing contribution to their community. Little old scorpion there. Somebody must have squished him. Some ants are getting after him. Bet you there's quite a few of them around here. Here's the sign here, folks, white pocket. Safety, restrictions, preserv preserving the fragile fins and formations. Kind of checking out where we're at. We're out in the wilderness, I know that for sure. We are out here in the wilderness. That might be white pocket right up there. Yeah, that might be it. Probably so. Pretty desolate, and then you've just got this white sandstone formation out here. Soft sand everywhere around to get out here to it, though. Yeah, we're wandering up the trail a little bit here. Getting a little closer. Don't know how far that is off in the distance. Doesn't look like it's that far, but we'll wander up here to the rise and see what we see from there. Yeah, we're coming right up on some of the formation. Pretty neat sandstone formation right out here. Wonder, wonder what caused that. I always wonder what caused something like that. Well, now we're right up on it, folks. Right up on it. You know, we might see this somewhere else and not think any big deal of it, but out here in the middle of all this soft sand, got this sandstone formation pretty interesting stuff pretty desolate we're we're out here in the boonies it like yes, it is. yeah Please. little pocket of water maybe that's why they call it white pocket white pocket of water captured some water there probably some wildlife comes in here and gets a drink every now and again here you are you're right in the middle of it with us folks white pocket on the Perea Plateau. You bet. Never been here before. Probably not a lot of folks that have been here. 
some of these neat form formations right on top of the rock here kind of interesting just bringing you right along with us yeah somehow this was a little tougher than the rest of all the sand and didn't erode away just yet pretty big formation out here folks pretty big formation we're kind of wandering around aimlessly big poppy he's still out exploring some new country in his life yeah look at this pretty pretty stuff another little pocket of water right over there a little more color right in the sandstone there yeah oh there's another pretty good little pocket of water yeah we're up on a little vista here there you can get a sense of some of the swirls in that sandstone right there pretty interesting not sure i've ever seen anything quite like it there's that dome way over there that we were driving to off in the distance yeah pretty cool folks this is it this is white this is white cap white pocket they call it white pocket and this is life this is the adventurous life with chris rich hopefully we're out exploring new country new adventures in life whatever they may be these are the type of things that set my soul on fire I get to spend some time with my dad get to see some new country get some new adventure and i'm bringing you right along with you right along with us we're glad you're with us little spot here almost looks like squares kind of worn in somehow not sure how that happened car now one last view of white pocket headed out then we've got the adventure of finding our way out a lot of roads going in different directions anyhow it's worth coming out and exploring up here on the Priya plateau thanks for joining me folks we got an adventure for the next few days gonna be fishing at lee's ferry some good action coming your way